Holy hell, these Steam reviews took quite a turn since the last time I delved into this game. For, for those who already know all the back lore, there will be a timestamp to the actual funny Steam reviews and shit. Until then, for those who don't know, let's get into what the fuck happened. At about right here, May 2nd, 2024, Sony announced that going forward with Helldivers 2, you would be required to set up a PSN account uh, in order to continue playing the game. Supposedly, this was set at launch, but if it was, it was very much buried in the fine print, and people on the Wayback Machine had, can see images of saying that this would be an optional, would be an optional thing to do as opposed to a mandatory requirement. Well, around here, they said, fuck that, it is mandatory, uh, starting on the 5th or whenever it was supposed to go into effect, uh, you would be required. New players would be required, and... And returning players would have until the end of the month, but you were going to do a PSN account whether you fucking liked it or not. With that and some absolutely terrible posts by their community managers, some of which telling their, telling the community to say, hey, fuck off, get a refund, get a refund and leave, and others just being downright ecstatic about the change because it would allow them to ban players more easily. And this was the result. About right here... As you can see by the massive influx of positive reviews, uh, yeah, Sony re rescinded the order, and they will no longer be requiring PSN accounts for the thing. Now, some of you may be thinking, Mima, what's the big fucking deal? It's a PSN account. It's ready. A, fu a, a few fucking things. First of all, t to play the to buy the game, and then what was it? Five months later, four months later, say hey. You need to access this third-party site. That's kind of BS. Sony, as we're going to see, Sony has had some uh, not very good instances with cybersecurity. And most importantly, the, the port that got a lot of people up in arms and led to these chunks of negative reviews is that Steam is available in a hell of a lot of countries a lot more than they're available in a lot more than Sony is for their PSN store, which means people in about a hundred or so countries would, assuming they didn't break any laws, would be completely unable to buy the game that they had purchased four months prior. Which, yeah, people were unhappy about that. After that, Sony Sony took Helldivers off the, off the Steam store in those countries, which is like... If you, and supposedly this is going to, going to roll out from the store. If, if you knew that, you shouldn't have put it on in those stores to begin with. Regardless, regardless, as of recording, I don't think those countries are back being able to buy Helldivers 2 on, P on Steam, which is kind of shitty, especially if they're... It leads me to believe that Sony is going to try this shit again later after the... Shit has died down, but that is neither here nor there. We are here to look at some weird fucking Steam reviews. Some that go incredibly nasty. Some that go, hey, mission accomplished. So, let's just get right into it, shall we? Hi, guys, I'm back. What did I miss? Oh, Dirk. Oh, <laughs> I, find it's, I find it so comforting that out of this chunk of negative reviews, the one that was considered most helpful and most funny is a positive review just going like, what the fuck did I miss? Do I fuck... Uh, let, let's, let's translate this, shall we? Linking a positive review to a game is not available in your region. Oh, stay classy, Russia. We've dived together or not at all, which is the general consensus of why... Like, they spent four months making a game where it's like, oh, right, teamwork, together. If you all work together, you can make these great accomplishments together. And then what happens? I did it in real life. Fucking amazing. I hate Nintendo. He's a little off, but he's got the spirit. Good lord. I bought this game on Steam with the intention of playing it on Steam. I do not own, nor will I ever have a PlayStation account. Forcing players to link or be banned from the game months after launch is unacceptable. I would refund this if I had the opportunity to do so. Honestly, absurd behavior from Arrowhead. 
Update, Sony has now walked back with PSN. They have also blocked the game from being purchased in any region that doesn't support PSN, which is close. Damn, 170? Oh, that's amazing. My review stays negative until all hell divers can die. Oh, is this where we can see the shit? Oh, cannot be activated or purchased in the following countries. That's a lot. That's like a lot. And what the hell is this? This packet says no price set in the following countries? Why? Why Japan? Anyway, back to Steam reviews. There were 940 comments in this. I'm not going in there. That was close. You, you, you only had an hour and... You, only had, you had less than two hours on record, man. You, you were going to get your refund no matter what. Bring spit no, do not bring spits back. He was a piece of shit. He was the one who told people to go sit and spin and and say if you don't like this shit, refund it. Why are you still here? Refund I thought you were refunding the game. All their community managers are gor basically every community manager is garbage. Anyone whose job it is to stay on the internet all all day long is going to be fucking cancer. It's basically just Redditors. I'm from the Philippines. That should be enough. It was it was, they literally said it was required at launch, guys. Okay, bootlicker. Okay, bootlicker up against the wall. Sony needs a nice cup of liberty. I get it. At first, I thought it was just wasn't a game for me. Then I found out that the bots made this game to collect our personal data. So Sony comes back in data breaches. Another attempt to end Super Earth. God bless America. Everyone whining about linking a PSN account is about as dense as a bug main. You just completely missed the point, didn't you, dude? Don't give these people a war. I say this every, every episode of the Scene Review Showcase. Don't give these people awards. They get shit for that. Forcing your players to make a PSN account months after launch is extremely undemocratic. You can say that again, quonth. So nussy. What does that even mean? Game is fun, corporate greed is not, and how to request a refund. Supposedly, they were still accepting refunds up to over 100 hours when when they they did this shit. I couldn't get a refund for mine, but whatever. They, they fixed it, so I'll still play off and on. So he can suck a fat one. Three people gave this guy the poetry. Definitely willing. Oh, look, the list of Sony data breaches from April 2011 with the latest being October 2023. I mean, granted, it's not a lot, but all this is far too much. I was so busy having fun, I forgot about corporate greed there for a minute. Just getting on the hating Sony bandwagon. I mean, there are worse bandwagons. <laughs> Buys game, leaves a bad review, refunds game, refuses to elaborate, leaves, plays Deep Rock Galactic. Yeah, rock and stone, brother. Also, you definitely did not ref refund this. You had less than half an hour. You, you just, just do it. Come on, man. Unfortunately, I like my personal information being personal. Well, welcome to the internet, my guy. Took two minutes to make a PSN account. Take it out on Sony, not Arrowhead, you hypocrites. They are taking it out on Sony. How else can they take it out on Sony without also taking it out on Arrowhead? There's not a whole lot of options, my guy. <laughs> Honestly, game was fun until the new enemy type called PSN account was introduced. Honestly killed the fun for me. Okay, let's go look at the the positive review. Let's end it on a good note, shall we? Because, I mean, it was mission accomplished. Democracy prevailed! Also, a giant text I'm not going to read. <laughs> For those we lost in Malevolent Creek. For those we almost lost because of Sony. But most importantly, for democracy. That was close. Did I already say you? Sony has caved. You may proceed to extraction with honor. Let's get this from overwhelmingly negative to overwhelmingly positive as quickly as possible. I don't think you're going back to overwhelmingly positive. You're saying out of 74%, I don't 
I don't think it's going back up. I don't think it's going to get much higher than 80. I am more patriotic for a fictional <laughs> planet than I am for my own country. Corporate war update, Major Order 1. Freedom has overcome oppression once more. The automaton spies at Sony headquarters have been brought to justice. Even the corporate might was no match for the fierce and obedient resistance of the Helldivers. Democracy prevails. We beat Sony, boys. Product refunded. We won. Did you buy it back? Manage democracy achieved. Alright, seems like I will be able to keep killing bugs. You're killing bugs, you coward? Fight on the automaton front. The game is great. Last mission was sick. Those automatons really tried to hack PlayStation, but thankfully we stopped them. Sweet liberty! <laughs> what the heck is Sony? Just just go back to playing, Glork. It's alright. Sony pulled out. Apes together strong. You're right about that. <laughs> Drop a 500 kilogram bomb at Sony HQ. If only. While it's empty. And while it's and only in Minecraft. Maybe the real victory was the publisher we humbled along the way. Probably. Game is so good, we had a campaign mission in real life, 10 out of 10. You're not wrong. <laughs> oh, and the fucking memes from this were fucking hilarious. The hell bombs. The hell pods are the negative reviews. <laughs> Amazing. Alright. Alright, that's it for this one, fuckers. Take care, bye.